What's up everybody? Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Thanks for pressing play. My name is Justin and today we are going to fix the throttle problem, specifically the lag on the Colorado ZR2. All right, guys, so I have spent about five months with the Colorado ZR2, but before this, I actually had a 2018 Colorado Z71, which had the exact same powertrain. What I've noticed with both trucks is that they both have a very large amount of dead travel in the gas pedal before the truck starts to go. So what this means is basically you can press that pedal what seems like 10 to 15%, possibly even 20, before the truck responds to the fact that you're pressing that pedal. Now this isn't an uncommon issue. This is actually pretty prevalent in the automotive industry and cars even like my 2019 Corvette ZR1 have the issue. And honestly, the Colorado is one of the worst that I have experienced yet. There is a lot of dead travel in that pedal before something starts to happen. Now, thankfully, there is a fix for this. There's actually a couple different fixes, but today we're gonna do one of the at least two different style fixes you can do. So the first one to take care of something like this would be to actually tune the truck. Until I decide whether or not I wanna do that, this is the next best route. So what we're gonna be doing here today is actually a throttle controller. So this is going to help eliminate that dead space by making the throttle more sensitive. So like I said, there's somewhere around 10 to 20% dead travel in this. We're gonna reduce that down to more like three to 5%. But what that's also gonna do is make it so every press on that gas pedal is amplified by the time it gets to the ECU. Meaning basically it's just making the ECU react at a faster rate. Nothing crazy, but today we're gonna get it done in an interesting way. Way. So this is the product we're going to be using today. It is called Wind Booster. Now this actually looks a lot like a product that I used in the past on my ZR1. It's interesting because the product looks very similar, but this one has better functionality in my opinion at least. You can see right at the top there, we do have the option to download iOS or Android style apps and there's a reason for that. And it's because this can actually be controlled via Bluetooth. This is the package we are getting. It is a really small, really compact setup and as you can see there there's really not much to this thing it's very very slim and pretty current looking which is awesome so if you want to mount this somewhere in the truck where you are going to constantly see it it is going to look the part now the best part is you don't have to mount it anywhere where you can typically see it you can just kind of stow it away and access it with the bluetooth ios or android application that's what I love about this thing. You don't even have to know it's installed. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So basically we have just the main controller here first. We can pull the box out and behind here is all of the wiring. Now, this is gonna go in between the electrical connections on the gas pedal on the ZR2. So right underneath the dash, you're gonna plug this in line between the gas pedal and then obviously the harness that connected to it from factory. Now, this little part here you can see is in fact the Bluetooth adapter. So this will all kind of get stowed underneath the dash where it's not gonna be visible. Now, if you guys are interested in something like this for yourselves, I will put the link in the description down below. These things are very, very appropriately priced for what you're getting. And there are much more expensive options on the market that don't give you half the options as this one. So I'm very impressed with this so far. Let's see how it works. So coming into the truck, we have all the wiring here and we're gonna go up under the dash here, right to the plug right there. If you could see the red block, that is the electrical plug that that harness is gonna plug into. So we're gonna plug that in and then you you can choose to run the power to the actual display if you want to. But like I said, a lot of this stuff can be controlled through Bluetooth, so you don't necessarily have to do that. So it's a pretty simple installation. It's just the T harness here. So this will plug into the gas and then the other part here will plug into the stock electrical to, to kind of just tee off the stock electrical wiring. You've probably seen this in action before. It's really hard to show on camera exactly what it is I'm talking about because I can press with my foot about, like I said, about 20% on that throttle before anything starts to happen. So there's a lot of dead area, but there's really a problem with me showing that because it's not something that is real easy to see. But if you have a Colorado, you know what I mean. The Canyon is the same way. It has a really unresponsive throttle, we'll call it. And this is a fix. All right, so up underneath the dash here, you can see the red 
part of the harness here. It is basically a locking pin. So you can kind of use your fingers or a screwdriver to grab and pull it out. So just like that, you can see it's now all the way extended and I can just slide it right up off the connector. So here is the stock connector we're gonna plug the new harness into. Now here comes the aftermarket T harness, which is basically this guy here. This part is gonna plug into the stock harness and then this new piece here is gonna plug into the top of the gas pedal. Pretty simple, insert it, it will only go in one way. Once it's inserted, you can then just push the locking part of the pin back and it kind of sucks it up in there and make sure it's nice and tightly locked into place. With that locked into place, we'll go ahead and grab the other piece, which looks exactly like the stock one on the other end of the T harness. And we're gonna put this up on top of the gas pedal, right where the stock one was, put it into place, push it down, and then we'll lock the connector by pushing it forward again. So just like that. Now we are fully installed. Now, obviously there is some wiring we're gonna to wanna to zip tie up in there, but just for today's video, I'm gonna hook it up first, kind of plug it in and show you what the Bluetooth app looks like before we go too crazy with zip ties and getting that all cleaned up underneath. So we're gonna have somewhere around three to four feet of wire to kind of put this wherever we want. If you wanted that display to be visible, I would recommend probably somewhere right around here, right, almost right there is like a perfect size for this. So something like that. So with the device like this, the power port is on the right hand side. Just plug it right in just like that. And it is ready to go. Now in the truck, we just started it up. This is what we're presented with. So we have a couple different blocks there at the top with the word normal underneath. Now you can hit these silver buttons at the bottom to kind of cycle through the modes. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the phone and see what the Bluetooth app looks like on this. Pretty interesting, guys. This is actually fairly well designed. It connected to Bluetooth as soon as I opened it up after I scanned the code that's on the back of that wire harness. So make sure you do that before you install this device onto the truck. But basically from here, yeah, it's just a big wheel of what you want to select. It's in Sport right now. So if I want to go to Sport Plus, touch Sport Plus, and then come down here, I can adjust it from zero all the way up to nine. And as I'm making these changes, I can actually see them changing on the device as well. I'm curious though, if I need that plugged in at all. I might be able to just unplug that and run it straight off of Bluetooth. But basically this sits in my Pro Clip, which is right there. My phone is constantly right there whenever I'm driving my truck. So this adjustment will be right at my fingertips regardless. So I'm going to leave it in Sport Plus at nine for now, because yeah, I like the way that that responds, but I have a feeling I'll be dialing that back. And before we take our ride, guys, I just tested it out. You do not actually need this display. So if you don't want to hook this up, you don't have to. Like I said, right over here is my phone. So as soon as I bring it up, the wind booster application is right there. I can make all my changes right from this screen. I never even have to look at anything else. So with that said, this extra super duper long wire can be disconnected right there and kind of zip tied up underneath the dash. So we're in business. As far as I'm concerned, I was kind of not liking the idea of putting this thing anywhere because even though it is a really slim updated looking kind of display i don't really need it if we were going to use bluetooth all the time anyway i'm going to go ahead and zip tie all the wires up under the dash then we're going to take this thing for a ride and i'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions on if this is something you should be doing with your colorado this is the wiring i wanted to show you what i did with it here it's just kind of zip tied to the stock gas accelerator slash electrical connector so it's all zip tied up there nice and tidy so nothing's rattle around or moving around like it shouldn't and we are ready to go it is about to storm here in pa i think so let's take a quick ride wow did it get dark here quick it is only 7 24 and <laughs> It is super friggin' dark here, so it is definitely gonna storm. It's starting to rain. I think we're gonna delay this until tomorrow, but it's only gonna feel like a couple seconds for you guys. So let's fast forward 24 hours. The next day. It is the next day, and believe it or not, we are about to get severe thunderstorms again within the next half an hour. So we're gonna jump in the truck, take it out for a ride, and see what this throttle controller really does for us before the storms hit in Pennsylvania. So I just started the truck, and I can tell just by pressing the gas pedal a little bit, we are still in Sport Plus, so even overnight, the truck managed to keep the settings without having that little display plugged in. And if we open up the app, it's gonna pop up here and connect the Bluetooth, and then it will tell us exactly what mode we're in. And sure enough, 
We're still in Sport Plus at level nine. So we are good to go. This will remember your settings overnight. You don't have to use the screen if you don't want to. And this Bluetooth app is actually really, really freaking nice looking. So let's take this thing for a ride finally. All right, guys. So I just pulled out of my driveway and accidentally spun tire for about a second because of how sensitive this throttle is. So we're in Sport Plus. I think I'm gonna back it down to around four instead of nine and see how that reacts. But I am definitely liking the more responsive throttle. So over on the app, all you gotta do is just touch four and it will kind of adjust to it. So that's at five actually, but we'll back it down one more just to see how it responds here. We have a lot of levels of customization. As you can see there in that wheel, those are all different modes. So you can really nail this thing down to be exactly where you want it to be. but. Like I said, Sport Plus at nine is probably a hair too sensitive. I'm gonna dial it back to four, and we're about to take off from a stop sign here. Yeah, okay, so four is still probably a little too sensitive. I'm gonna take that down to one and see how that does. So, well actually, you know what? We can take it down to zero. We're all the way down to zero. I'm gonna see how this thing responds now. Like I said, I'm really, I'm liking the extra sensitivity, but you know, you gotta find that sweet spot. That's why we got so many areas of adjustment. Here we are at a stop sign again. We'll see, we'll see how this does. Ooh, I like that. That might be good. That might be good. We might actually bump it down to sport at like seven or eight, but we're getting a lot closer to where I wanna be. So kind of an unexpected result from this is the truck actually feels it feels a lot faster. I know it's it's got to just be a uh, side effect or a placebo, I guess, but uh, it does feel faster. It feels like the truck definitely gets out of its way a little bit quicker, but I know what it is is the, the throttle is just responding faster, so there's not a delay whenever I hit the gas to when the car actually starts going, which is a great thing in its own right. But guys, I'm loving this thing so far. I have yet to drive a vehicle that needed it as much as the Colorado did. So yeah, this is a win-win. I'm gonna link this product down below. If you guys are interested, definitely check it out. It's definitely something you can all benefit from. And I love, yeah, the, the lack of lag in that throttle is freaking amazing. I'm loving it. And like I said, the truck feels peppier. It feels a lot more responsive because it's not like a second or two before we actually start moving after I press the pedal. And like I said, it's got so many different levels of adjustment that it's gonna work for pretty much everybody out there. There's not gonna be anybody who thinks it's too sensitive or not sensitive enough. You have so many different levels of adjustment, you'll find your level, I'm sure. So here we have it in sport at level six, and I think I have found my setting. So at level six, the throttle is still more responsive, but definitely not touchy like it was in sport plus. Yeah, this is it. Sport at level six is my setting here for daily driving. This this feels like the way the truck should have come. You, you don't even have to see it after setup. That's the best part. You use the app. You don't have to see a screen. You don't have to see any wiring. This is exactly the kind of mods I am all about. So just for comedic effect, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in normal, which is basically stock. It's just acting as a pass-through completely. We are now in normal mode and yeah, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this thing feels like it doesn't respond for 20 seconds now. Wow, I'm getting I'm getting spoiled by this thing already, guys. So in normal mode, and it's actually dialed up to six. So it's normal mode plus six. It is still really, really laggy. So until you get into sport, it's so laggy that I don't understand. I don't know why the Colorado was like this. But anyway, I want to put it back into sport at level six. That's That's where I found it to be perfect. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw here, give me a big thumbs up. Check out the description down below for the Wind Booster mod so you can get your Colorado up to speed, no pun intended, and it will be done in a much less laggy way. If you guys want to continue to see Colorado content like this, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything going forward. And as usual, guys, I will catch you in the next one.